All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, giving all praises, giving all honor, and giving all glory unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Recha, Kwadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Most High, who people ignorantly just call God. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of his only begotten Son, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Ba'asham means in the name. And Racha Kwadash is the Holy Spirit. Spirit holy literally translated. Racha means spirit. Kwadash means holy. Double honor to the elder apostles as well as the elder bishops of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well, who taught us the truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akim lift up the name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in truth, sincerity, and with charity. This is the, the brother Tazawar. And I'm coming at it with another lesson. Lord, will it be edifying? And as you can see by this note, the title is this word has nothing for us but death. All right. This word has nothing to offer but death and destruction. And at the end, anyways, it's death and destruction. If you don't serve Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, hey, that's your ass, man. Don't matter if you have six hundred million dollars. It don't matter if you have six hundred dollars. It don't matter if you're uh, a so-called upstanding citizen in this society or a game banger. The Lord's still going to destroy you, man. Because what? You don't fear him. You don't serve him. You have not repented. You're walking in the ways of this world, man. It's many ways of darkness. And let's start off with that. This is uh, Matthew 7 and 13. And this is the Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ. But this is the Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. So when you see all these people having their own opinions and their own ways. Hey, that's a lot of different ways of death. And hey, you could be a guy that's a one wife type of guy. You could be a guy that wants to have sex with 75 women a, uh, a week. You could be a guy that just want to be celibate. But at the end of the day, what is the truth of the matter? All right. Can you righteously judge? It's many ways these niggas may seem to have, oh, yeah, bro, this is what you got to do, man. You got to deal like this. You got to walk your life like this, man. Put your money down, you know, hide it and what. Nah, man. It's many ways of darkness. Yeah, bro, you can pop this pill, but don't do too many pills, bro. You going to end up fucked up in the head. And, you know, niggas got all type of nigga knowledge. So much that I don't even fucking know what niggas be saying nowadays like that. But it's all darkness. The Lord has the light. The Lord has the truth. And what the Lord says, go. And when you look at these people in the world, man, they're bugged out. They're soft, effeminate, effeminate, excuse me, have no idea what right is, have no idea what wrong is. Why? Because they're leaning to their own understanding. We're going to go back to this proverb. I mean, to this Matthew. Let's get this proverb right quick. This is Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, with all thine heart. And this heart goes to the Hebrew word, Lab, which means your mind. So your whole mind has to be given to the Lord. In his ways and lean not into thy own understanding. And that's what the world promotes, leaning to your own understanding. The Lord said, don't do that. We're not supposed to lean and wing it. No, we're supposed to uh, uh, find what the Lord says is right and live accordingly. And that's what these people are not doing. Why? Because they hate the Lord. And the scripture says, Proverbs 13, 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. So these people despise the word. As it says in 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, it says they uh, cast away his ways despitefully. But what? It says they shall dwell in torments because these people look at the Lord's ways as contempt. They contempt the Lord's ways. They put it off. They put it on the back burner. Ah, that's an option, man. I'm doing, I'm doing me. I'm getting money. So all niggas talk about is getting money. Nigga, you ain't got no fucking money, man. Nigga talking about getting money. You ain't got no land. You ain't got no cattle. You ain't got no women. Ain't the woman you got is a hoe. So what, so what do you have? That's what this world provides you, man. Corruption. This world, this world provides you with abominable things. And we're going to get that in Matthew, the sixth chapter, that we had to seek the kingdom. But it says, Proverbs 13 and 13, Whoso, dis whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feared the commandment shall be rewarded. The law of the wise is, fountain of, is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. So this truth, these words, these laws, these commandments is what helps us escape death. And ultimately is what's going to allow us to inherit eternal life. Lord will we be of the elect and make it right. But what if you're 
despising the word, which the word is Yahweh Shai. If you're despising the Lord, if you're despising the Lord's word and his ways, well, that's death unto you. That's destruction. You're going to be destroyed. This is Proverbs 8 and 35. For whoso findeth me, findeth life. Once again, Baruch the fourth chapter. It says if you, yeah, I'm going to butcher it. I, uh, Baruch 4 and 1. It says, this is the book of the commandments of the most high. And a law that endureth forever, all they that keep it shall come to life. But such as leave it shall die. So if you keep it, you're going to come to life. Because what? This is the way that uh, um, the earth is supposed to be governed. This is the way that your life is supposed to be governed. This is the foundation. You get this wisdom before you get anything. And now your life is going to be okay. All right, okay. I'm, uh, the Lord has blessed me with the wisdom. You know, you done toiled. Did what you had to do to get, get to it. And then now you look at life like, okay, now I can get some money. I ain't going to destroy myself. Now I can get a woman. I'm going to know how to deal with her. I'm going to know if she commits adultery, I'm kicking her ass to the curb. See, in the world, niggas, niggas be, yeah, you, your girl committed adultery, man. You got to work it out with her. You got to, what did you do wrong, man? Fuck what you, fuck all that shit, man. Soft-ass niggas. Yeah, bro, that's your woman, man. You got to keep her, man. Tears in the nigga. I nigga crying for your woman more than your is. He trying to fuck her, too. That's what these dudes lust out to. Taking your woman instead of getting their own woman. The guys are out of their damn man. But this is Proverbs 8 and 33. It says, hear instruction and be wise. Because this, hey, in, the, in this book, man, which is the book of the Lord, the words of the Most High God, that's life, man. This is what you're supposed to listen to. You're not supposed to listen to what a nigga has to say to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro, man. Shit, bro. I just did 10 in the pen. And what I done found out is you got to live life to the fullest. Man, I'm not listening to that shit. What you got to do is repent and hope to not be destroyed on this side because the Lord is coming with judgment. It don't matter what you do on this side, no matter how many women you done had sex with, no matter how many men you done murdered, it don't matter how many cars you done driven, how many fights you done won, the Lord is still going to destroy America. The Lord is still coming back to punish those that are settled on their leaves. That think that, hey, the Lord ain't finna do nothing. The Lord ain't coming back. I ain't finna work hard. In terms of spiritual work, because the scriptures talk about you can't be weary and well-doing. We got to put in this work. But these guys can timid and act like the Lord ain't going to do good or evil. They act like the Lord is these idols they're serving. He's going to show you. You're going to bow that knee, man. But this is Proverbs 8 and 33. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that hear of me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me and sin is a transgression of the law. Right? The ways of sin is death. It says, he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. So if you hate Yahweh Bashem Shai, you love death because the Lord is about life. Let's get that. This is John 10 and 10. It says, the thief cometh not but for, it's like a buffer to steal and to kill and to destroy. And that's Esau Eden, the self proclaimed white man. Look. What he promotes, death, destruction, rape, rob, murder. And he puts that on the people and he wants you to be like that. He wants you to act like that. He wants you to be a nigger. But the Lord, what? It says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So the Lord is about life. The Lord said, go and sin no more. So you have to be in a repentive mindset, as it says in uh, Matthew, the fourth chapter. This is Matthew 4 and 17. It says, From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So with the kingdom of heaven being at hand, which means it's nigh, which means it's coming soon, with that being the case, what? America has to be destroyed. Jacob Trouble has to come. The MOTB, which is the RFID microchip, that is the mark of the beast, has to come. And what are you going to be doing to escape those said perils? It says you have to have faith and works. So if you have faith and believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, you're not going to be having sex with another man's wife. You're not going to be profane in the Sabbath. You're not going to be uh, uh, um, partying 24-7. You're not going to be scamming and robbing niggas. You're not going to be walking around with a shisty mask on. You're going to reform your life righteously. And you're going to have actions to follow it. Because not everyone's a prophet. 
Not everyone's a man, a, a, a man that's going to stand on these highways and byways. Not everyone was ordo- ordained to do that. But what we're going, you're going to have them works. Not going to be eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, fucking cow balls. People are eating cow balls and shit, man. Not going to be eating livers and blood and doing all this other stuff, doing necromancing. Not going to be doing witchcraft. You're going to throw all that out the window. Throw all that wickedness out the window and offend less. You're going to try your very, very, very best to be the most upright man, woman, child, the Lord. Uh, it's like in the sight of the Lord to the best of your ability. Now, let's get this Matthew 6, but let's finish out this Matthew 7. It's Matthew 7 and 13. It says, enter ye in at the straight gate. So we have to go into the straight gate, which is a position of difficulty. But the straight gate, as it says in 2 Genesis 7, chapter, that's the only way to get to the kingdom. If you don't pass, uh, overcome America, as the scriptures say, he that overcometh. It always talks about overcoming. It always talks about getting the victory. It always talks about uh, uh, um, escaping. Not Chilling in this motherfucker, yeah. Shit, I'm finna get a recliner chair in this bitch, man. I can't. I love America. Matter of fact, I'm finna go fight for America. No, the scriptures don't tell you to do that. And why would you want to do that? This word is wicked. But it says, "Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction." So the way that leadeth to destruction is broad, it's wide, and many there be which go in there at. So. You're going to have a majority of these people doing complete and utter abominable acts. As it says, this world was created for many, but the world to come for few. So, yeah, the wicked can ball on this side, but they got to get a judgment for it. They're going to be destroyed. And the righteous who, uh, who have, excuse me, who have abstained, as it says in 1 Peter, uh, uh, abstained from fleshly lust, which war against the soul, who have abstained from this evil. What? It's going to be their time to ball when the kingdom comes, inheriting eternal life, being on first fruits. It says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leadeth unto life and fear there be that find it. So, hey, man, we're, we're exhibiting true life. This is a true lifestyle. These people in this world, it's all about death, man. This is Proverbs 21. And 16, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So our people, as it says, let him be counted as a heathen man. So they have wandered out the way of understanding, and now they're with the congregation of the dead. They're with these heathen. It's, hey, you ask a nigga, what, hey, what's your nationality? Black. With a Q on that motherfucker. You ask him, what's the name of the Lord? J.C. Big ass smile on his face. Jeebus. Big ass smile on his face. So these niggas are heathen, man. What they say? Allah, Buddha, some bullshit. Some fucking uh, bullshit, an idol that doesn't do anything, that you do more than your idol. You picking up your idol off the ground and shit, dusting them off and praising them. Fucking dickhead, man. But let's end it on this. Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. So we're not supposed to lay up for ourselves treasures upon earth. Yeah, you can have a car. You can have a house. You can have whatever the fuck you want in righteousness. But that's not where our heart is. We're not... Damn, I just lost my house. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, what am I going to do? I just crashed my car. No. Hey, the Lord gives and we, we pray and hope to keep him. But at the end of the day, that's not where our heart is. We don't give a fuck about these things. We don't even care about this flesh, man. We're not going to look like this in the kingdom. This flesh ain't going to inherit the kingdom. This death style, this fashion, the uh, fashion of this life is going to pass away. Hoes twerking their ass, that ain't going to be in the kingdom, man. Stinking ass pussies ain't going to be in the kingdom, man. Sipping lean ain't gonna be in the kingdom. Niggas love sipping lean, man. They drop pills in it and everything. Pill popping ain't gonna be in the kingdom, man. All that shit go pass away. These niggas doing some shit that's vain. But what? It says, He that do the will of your how about Shem Al Shah, battle forever. Actually, we gonna end it on that first, John. Let me have to cue that up, Lord Willing. Um, all right. This is uh, Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves churches upon earth. Where moth and rust do of corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do of corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Yeah, nigga can steal your car, nigga can steal your woman, nigga can, can get, break into your crib and steal your uh, belongings. But what? He can't steal this truth from you. He can't steal the spirit from you. He can't steal your works that you have stored up with the Lord from you. 
He can't steal that this heavenly crown that's waiting upon you when you finish your course, Lord willing. Verse 21, for where your heart is, there where your treasure, it's like for where your treasure is, excuse me, for where your treasure is, there where your heart be also. And once again, your heart is your mind. So if your treasure is on this world, your mind is going to be in this world. If you treasure the kingdom to come, your mind, your citizenship is going to be in the heavens. And you're not going to be worried about this place. You're going to, uh, as it says, ah, I'm going to butcher this second Timothy. Let's see. Yeah, 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. No man that wharf entangled himself with the affairs of this life. You're not going to be entangled with the affairs of this life. Yeah, you're going to get to it. But at the end of the day, where is your mind at? Our mind revolves around the truth and everything else we get to it when we can. It says... That he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. We want to please Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai so we can get that salvation and escape this death to come. Chiefly the second death, which is the nukes hitting America and destroying this place. The chariot fire destroying this place. You don't want to be cooked in this motherfucker. As a matter of fact, all over the world, you don't want to get, get, be searched out by the, by the, uh, the Lord. Bring hidden and slay them before me. You don't want that to happen to you. Purging out the rebels. No, nah, you want to be beamed up in the chariots, man, when the destruction comes and be changed. It's 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So if you love this place, the Lord don't love you. If you love this place, you don't love the Lord. It says uh, if you have a friendship with the world, you have enmity with Yahweh, which is deep-rooted mutual hatred. It says if, you, if you're a friend of this world, you're an enemy of the Most High God. And that's what it is. For all that is in the world. So the Lord is going to tell you what's in the world. The lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. These things are not of the Father, so you shouldn't want to do it. It's of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh by Shem El Shai abideth forever. The scriptures say righteousness is immortal. These niggas ain't going to believe. Uh, it's like these niggas ain't going to remember Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne ain't going to be having no memorial in the kingdom. Michael Jordan, they're going to memorial in the kingdom. The righteous will, the elect will, they're going to be talked about. They're going to be written about. They're going to be worshipped. But what? Our Lord will, first and foremost, Yahweh Bashem al Shah will be worshipped for eternity. Michael Jordan going to have his head down. LeBron James going to have his head down. He's going to be shamefaced. So, hey, man, let's, let's fight for the kingdom to come. This is what really matters. Lord, what is edifying, giving all praise and honor, glory unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechah, Kwadash, Shalom, Kwam, Yasharala, Wah, Abba, Babal.